Hello, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Solstice. Hanukkah's long over at this point, but I hope you had a good one. Uh, happy birthday to everyone who was born in December, and uh, if you don't celebrate anything in December, Happy New Year. So I'm here with my usual year-end wrap-up and uh, channel updates, and we're going to start with the channel updates because I assume that's the part most people care about. Some of you might be going, hey, it's Friday, where's Matt's movie nights? That's a very good question, very perceptive of you. This week's Matt's movie nights is over on my brand new second channel, Matt 2, The Mattening. I have started a second channel that is going to probably chiefly be for Matt's movie nights. Uh, the new channel is mostly for, like, Stuff that isn't as highly edited or technical, uh, mostly that means movie nights, probably that's gonna be the main thing, but also just, like, any unscripted thing I want to do, or any, like, memes I happen to throw together, maybe, like, some behind-the-scenes stuff for the channel, uh, that's all gonna be over on my brand new second channel, Matt to the Mattening. Please be sure to go over there and subscribe. I've, I've already re-uploaded uh, CoolKids.mp4 and The Pain of Thanks Killing 3, um, both of which are unlisted on this channel, so if you want to watch them, uh, there they are. They're, they're back on YouTube, on my second channel. So, Drunk Rankings, Hollow Victories, uh, any of the more technical editorials that I do, and of course, Matt's Fun Time Weird Movie Show are going to continue appearing here on this channel, but everything else will now be on the second channel, Matt 2 The Mattening. That, I feel, is just sort of to clean up some of the clutter on this channel. Like, it's stuff I want to make, but I, I want to keep pretty consistent with this channel because that's how you encourage subscriber growth, so... Uh, mostly it'll be, like, the main things I do on this channel, and that'll just be for fun little side projects I want to do. I might even try live streaming over there. I, I started, uh, Brutal Legends on this channel, and I, I never finished it, so I, I might stream more Brutal Legends over there. Incidentally, if you want to see me in a live stream, uh, you might want to go over and check out the Exploding Duck Brigade. Uh, which is sort of a collaboration between a, a lot of my friends, and I've started appearing in a lot of their videos, particularly the live streams. I'm in most live streams, not all of them, but if you want to catch me doing live streams, uh, definitely check out the Exploding Duck Brigade. And uh, that's it for channel announcements. I, I just wanted you to know I now have a second channel, um, really appreciate it if you go subscribe to that. If you're only here for, like, Matt's Fun Time Weird Movie Show, then, uh, this is probably good news for you, too, because, uh, now you're not gonna see all of the other shit popping up in my feed. It's, it's mostly just gonna be, like, the, the main, big, good stuff I do. So, with that, I suppose I'll just... Wax poetic about the year I've had, because, boy, it's been a wild one. <laughs> um, on the one hand, I, I'm, it, it feels like we're not, we shouldn't be at the end of 2021 already. But on the other hand, I think about stuff that happened at the beginning of the year, and that just seems like an eternity ago. Like, this, this year, contradictorily, feels incredibly short and also extremely long. Although, I, I might only be saying that because a lot of the bigger stuff happened to me later in the year. Uh, so, straight up, 2021 has been, like, the best year of my life. And I say that pretty frequently, but it continues to be true. Even last year, with the clusterfuck that was 2020, I had to admit that I had a pretty good year. Um, there was a lot going on in the world that affected me, that was a huge problem last year, and some of that has carried over into this year. Uh, it's COVID. COVID has carried over into this year. Everything else, uh, 
Yeah, that's about it. COVID's really the only big thing that has affected me this year. And even then, that has sort of come to a head where we're, we're past... The worst is behind us, I'll say that much. I, I, I would be hard-pressed to say it's over. It's just less severe than it was last year. Like, last year, it was, like, complete lockdown. This year... We, we've, I've been getting out there, at least. I've been getting out there. I got vaccinated. And that's that's actually been one of the big things that has happened to me this year. Is like Because last year, I, I moved out of my parents' house into this apartment. But that was, like, March. Literally, that was, like, weeks before we got hit with the lockdown. So... Sure, for, like, most of 2022, I was an adult living on my own with my own money, but now I'm an adult living on my own with my own money who can go do things. So, you know, I've been getting out of the house more this year. <laughs> I've been, you know, getting back into the swing of things. And it, it has still been a, a touch-and-go, we'll say. It's been touch-and-go, um... I, I did get to go out to Six Flags a couple times this year. That's really the big thing for me. I saw some friends. We, we, we went out to bars again. We haven't been out to bars in a long time. 2022, I'm planning out-of-state trips. N knock on wood. I shouldn't knock on this wood while I'm recording, though, because that's going to fuck with my microphone. So, first off, just, just the fact that I'm an adult on my own who can do things it has been great that's been a lot of fun uh, also it's probably the big thing probably the the very obvious highlight of my year i started dating this year i haven't told you guys i didn't know how long i could sort of hold that one down now if you've been keeping up with the stuff i post You'd already know that, because I was on my friend Chris and Olivia's podcast uh, with my partner, and we did mention that we are dating. So, uh, if you haven't watched that, go check that out. Uh, listen to Chris and Olivia's podcast. I am on every episode they have recorded so far. Um, the two that are out and the two that, as of this recording, are not out. Although one of them was a Christmas episode. So hopefully that is out by the time this is out, because this is going up on Christmas Eve, but I don't know, it might not be. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter to, to see when I post these things. I also post them in the community tab, but, you know, if you want to see me other places, uh, pay attention to me on Twitter and in my community tab, because I, I do post the uh, crossover stuff that I do. But yes, I've I've been dating. It's been wonderful. Uh, I I don't want to I don't want to spend too long on this because I absolutely could. But I you guys don't care that much about my relationship. It's I'll just I'm dating. We're going to move on. I was, hello Mitzi. I know Mitzi's watching. Hello Mitzi. Uh on top of that, one of my highlights this year has been uh, starting Hollow Victories with Michael, who is our new podcast. Presumably you've heard of it because I post it on this channel. There have been... I want to say five episodes now. And the last episode did really well. It was uh, The Christmas Tree versus Rhapsody Street Kids. Um, I have some guesses as to why that one did better than some of the others. I think probably one of the big things is a lot of my fans have come to me from Saber Spark, and those are two movies Saber Spark has talked about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Hollow Victories, it's our new show. We watch two infamous movies and then debate which one is better. And that's just been, like, so much fun to make. Like, I, I don't care if that video, if those videos get, like, no views. If, if that's, like, my least pop, the least popular thing I ever make. I don't care. I, I've been having so much fun making those. It's a really fun show to make. Back in high school, my friends and I used to do bad movie nights. Um, and we, 
we kind of dropped off a little during college. We still did it through college. But then, like, these last two years, A, there was the COVID lockdown, and B, we are all adults with jobs and our schedules tend not to line up. So we only did one bad movie night in 2020, right when I moved into my apartment, and we only did one bad movie night in 2021. So uh, I, I really enjoy doing Hollow Victories, because it does kind of scratch that itch that I, I used to have, you know, bad movie nights for, and now it's like, you know, I'm getting to watch bad movies with my friends. So yeah, Hollow Victories has just been like so much fun to produce. Uh, it's an idea I was kicking around a couple years ago, but I'm like, eh, I don't really know who I would host this with. And then it came back to me this year, and I'm like, hmm, I bet I could get Michael to do that with me. That'd be a lot of fun. And yeah, no, I've really enjoyed doing Hollow Victories. I'm, I'm glad I got that started. Uh, I've overall I've been pretty happy with uh, what I've put out this year. I, I do think it, it represents some of my best work. Um. I think the Assassin 33 AD video is the best video I made all year. I really like that one. I, I, I have noticed that a lot of my videos are shorter than they used to be. I don't know, I tend to hit right in like the 15 to 20 minute range where before it was not unusual at all for me to pass 20 minutes. I think Assassin 33 AD is the only one that passed 20 minutes this year. So... Uh, I don't know what's up with that, but, like, I just, I write what I need to, so I, I have no plan for how long any of these videos are. I am planning one ex especially long video for 2022. That one's gonna be a lot of fun to make. I don't, I don't mind the shorter content. It makes these videos a lot easier to produce, but, <laughs> um, mm. I, I, I would like my content to go back to being a little longer. I just, I don't know. I write, I write what I feel like I need to for every video with no real idea of how long it's going to be. And I don't know, it's just gotten shorter this year. I don't know, I, I can't explain that. That's really the only negative I have. I think the quality of my videos has improved quite a bit. Uh, not the content, necessarily. I, I think I'm about as terrible as always, but, uh, like, filming-wise, I've started filming on my phone, and it's just a lot clearer than the shitty camera I was using for so long. I, um, my dad told me about this app called Filmic Pro. It's, like, 15 bucks, but... Uh, it, it lets you adjust, like, the exposure and the white balance and the focus on your camera phone, and I've been using that. I'm like, 15 bucks, first off, is way cheaper than a new camera, and the camera in my phone is a lot better than the camera I was using. My only problems were... Couldn't adjust the white balance, couldn't adjust the exposure, couldn't adjust... I, I couldn't even zoom on the front-facing camera, which was a problem, because I kind of need to see myself while I'm recording. But, you know, I got the Filmic Pro app, and I, I've been filming with that all year, and I, I think there's, like, a noticeable improvement in video quality. I also got an actual light instead of using a lamp. I am still using a lamp over here, but I have an actual light. One real light. I also think the topics I've picked this year have been a lot more interesting. Uh, Alien Terminator is the one that stands out as not being as good. I, I didn't really like that one that much. Uh, that was That was a mistake on my part. I sort of set up as a joke, like, ha-ha, we're gonna review Alien Terminator, and then I watched Alien Terminator. And I, I had seen Alien Terminator before, and I remember finding it pretty cheesy, but upon watching it for an actual video, I'm like, oof, there's not a whole lot here to talk about. Uh, so that's, that's probably the one that stands out as a bit of a disappointment. I didn't have that much to say about it, but otherwise, I think I picked some really good stuff to talk about this year. 
Um, <laughs> Assassin 33 AD, obviously. Um, also, The Lusting Hour. That was just such a uniquely bizarre film. Like, I, I want to find more stuff like The Lusting Hour, where you're just like, Hold on, wait, that description does not make sense. It's an anti-porn porn movie. So I, I would like to find more weird, eclectic stuff like that. Stuff where the humor is not necessarily just that it is poorly made. I'd, I'd like to see a little more stuff like that. What else? Oh, I opened a, a P.O. box this year. Um, I haven't actually gotten around to watching any of the films that were sent in. Some of them I've already seen before, but I, I haven't gotten around to watching the ones that I haven't seen yet. I plan on just, like, uh, finding, like, t taking, like, whenever I have a day off, I'm just gonna sit down, I'm gonna drink, and I'm gonna watch all of the movies people sent me. <laughs> so, but, uh, thank you to all the people who sent in movies to the P.O. Box, I also found a lost movie this year, the uh, Long Lost Girl Quake, and I actually didn't get around to watching that until just like a few days ago, and it's really good, it's really funny, I really enjoyed it, and I'm like, man, what a movie to have inserted myself into the history of, like... <laughs> Forever, forever my name will be associated with Girlquake, because I'm the one who found it after it was lost for 25 years. You're welcome. It's such a good movie, and I'm so glad it's a good movie, because I was so worried that this was gonna be, like, a super boring movie. Because that happens sometimes, like, like, Carnival Magic was a lost movie, and I watched it, and I'm like, you know what? This could have stayed lost, and I, I don't feel like we'd be missing that much. Girl Quick, I'm really glad it has been found. Like, even if I wasn't the one who found it, I'd be glad someone else had found it. And I'm even happier that I was the one that found it. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, overall, it's just been a really good year. Which is... I'm, I'm glad I get, I get to say that at the end of the year, because I, I did feel... Like, February, March, I, I was kind of feeling like I was in a rut. And... Um, two things really pulled me out of that. The first was the Assassin 33 AD video. That, that I was like, ooh, this is something I'm really passionate about making. I'm really happy I got to do this episode. Uh, the other was doing shrooms in Minecraft. Um, but we won't talk about that here. Yeah, I don't know. It's just been, it's been a really good year, man. I had a really good time this year. Um... And I have all of you to thank for that. Um, so, so I want to start with an, a special thank you to all of my fans. Uh, in particular, the, the people who've like sent movies in. The people who support me on Patreon. Um, the, the people who will interact with me on Twitter. I, I, have, I have a decent bit of followers on Twitter, but I have like five people who will just, like, interact with nearly everything I do, and, uh, they're a lot of fun. Uh, of course I have to say thanks to Michael. I always say thanks to Michael, but this year, he, he did, like, so much more for the channel, uh, than previous years. Um, so I, I, I really appreciate him agreeing to be on Hollow Victories with me. Please go over to Michael's channel and check him out. I'm in a lot of his videos, so... Maybe I should also throw in thanks to Mitzi. I don't know. Do I have to... <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm thankful that I'm dating Mitzi, but do I really... Do I, do I have to thank them in a video for that? Thank you for dating me, Mitzi. <laughs> and, and of course, the, the whole crew over at the Exploding Duck Brigade. Uh, Zach, great dude. Uh, Teddy has uh, hosted our, our Dungeons & Dragons sessions. Although... If we recorded any Dungeons & Dragons this year, it was at the very beginning of the year. We've been playing Monster of the Week, which we have not been recording while we're trying to catch up with all of the Dungeons & Dragons we've recorded. 
Watch our Dungeons and Dragons podcast, Dungeons and Duckies. It's really good. I really enjoy it. Um, I've edited two of the episodes, and I, I'm working on uh, a third episode. Uh, and, and of course, uh, Chris and Olivia, uh, who've had me on their podcast several times, done a lot of stuff with Chris this year. Uh, I, I, did, I didn't really know Chris before this year that well, or Olivia. Uh, I, di I didn't really know either of them that well before this year, but uh, they're both very cool, very fun people to be around. Olivia is going to be on our podcast in February. I guess February is when the episode's coming out. We're recording it in January, but it will be February before that episode is out. I didn't hear a lot from uh, John this year of Homeless Movies. He was, like, moving cross-country. He hasn't been very active, but uh, from what I understand, he's got a Santa sleigh video coming out, so... If that's up, I do encourage you to go watch my friend John's Santa Slay video. It's a good movie. I like Santa Slay. I'm excited to hear what he has to say about it. Also, someone I've had uh, some passing interaction with this year on Twitter. Uh, Eli from Cinema Nippon. I'm ho I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, interesting channel. Very fun, interesting channel that I, I would recommend to you all uh they do videos about obscure japanese media i guess um there's a lot of anime discussion and i don't really know that much about anime but th they also talk about japanese movies and i'm someone who watches a lot of japanese movies i am uh, probably it is the number one non-English language country I am watching movies from. And even then, I've only seen, like, maybe 10% of the stuff they cover, and I'm just like, oh man, this is like deep cuts, man. <laughs> and uh, on top of that, they provide context to these movies that I just, like, don't have as an American. Uh, the video I am going to point you to is... One they did on Hanabi, a Takeshi Kitano movie. It's one of my favorite Japanese movies. And their video was so fascinating because they talk about this whole, like, market crash that happened in Japan in the 90s that I just didn't know about. That is, like, a major factor in the film. And I'm like, man, I, I didn't even know this was... Like, I, I didn't know that's what this was commentary on. I just sort of uh, accepted that as part of the movie. So, yeah, it's a very fascinating channel that adds context to a lot of movies I really enjoy. Shout out to Cinema Nippon. Whomst else should I thank? I mean, I've got my IRL friends. Um, Kim and James and Peyton. James has actually uh, done a little bit of stuff for the channel this year. He... He recorded my new theme song, and he appeared in one of the uh, uh, Metal Ween episodes to play <laughs> to play his sick ass electric guitar. So uh, I suppose thank you to all of you. Um, I, I I'll see you in the new year uh, with tons of fun new content. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm betting. Once again, knock on wood, we're going to do it very carefully so it does not fuck with the microphone. Knock on wood, 2022 is going to be even better than 2021, because it's, it's already shaping up to be. Um, it, something could go disastrously wrong. I, I am not at all certain that something couldn't go disastrously wrong, but barring something going disastrously wrong... 2022 is shaping up to be an even better year, so I look forward to it, uh, and I, I hope to see you all in the new year.